Praise the Lord, my friends. Welcome to the Power of Faith broadcast. I am your host, Dr. Charles S. Waters, and I'm so glad to have you be a part of the program. I cannot tell you the move of God that has been happening here at New Generation Ministries has been absolutely phenomenal. If I was you, I would get here as soon as I can. Make it your business this weekend to get here. I'm telling you, there's a move of God like never before. Souls are being healed. People are being delivered. People are getting more understanding of Scripture. And I'm telling you, the kingdom of God is being reestablished on the earth because of this ministry. And I thank God so much for His grace and His power. Here lately, uh, the Lord has been really putting in my heart about uh, just the understanding the kingdom and kingdom authority. Do you know, as a believer, you have authority it is your divine right to reign and have authority on this earth. It is not just in the good by and by. I'm talking about having rulership, ownership, and, and all on the earth. This is the season where I believe the Holy Spirit really desires to deal with us. And God wants to, to almost like rehab Eden and get us back to that place where we can understand exactly what our role is as a believer on the earth. Our role is not for the earth to take over us. It's for us as believers to take over the world. And am I, am I speaking world domination? Yes, but in God's way. In a way where we can help bless the people of God and, and usher in a new movement. I believe the reason why things are happening right now is because the children of God, all of us, have re remained silent for so long. So we don't have a voice. But God has given us a dynamic voice, and we got to use it to build up the kingdom of God. Now, this broadcast that you're about to see, I'm telling you, is going to bless you really good. It's going to give you principles to understanding why we are here. The purpose. What's my purpose? What's my passion? Uh, I know a lot of times you may uh, think, um, you know, what you're at night and you get off work or whatever the case may be and you're sitting there wondering, God, what is my purpose? What is the purpose of my creation? Well, let me tell you, it's to build the kingdom of God. And you have a voice. I say it again, you have a voice because you have an assignment. And so I want you to stay tuned because the message you're about to see is going to bless you real good. And I want to talk to you a little bit after the message and give you some good information, some things that are coming up, some things that are happening. And uh, I want you to stay tuned. Because you're about to be blessed. I'll be right back, right after this. Every place where on the soles of your feet shall tread yes. shall be yours. From the wilderness that you're currently in to Lebanon. Hallelujah. From the river and the river you phrase. Even to the uttermost sea shall be your cause. Then there shall no man be able to stand before you. I want you to get this. For the Lord your God shall lay the fear of you. Not the fear of him. But the fear of you and the dread of you. Upon all the land yes, yes. that he shall tread upon yes. as he said unto you. I want to give you the definition very quickly, and then I feel a release in this atmosphere. Because this morning you're going to regain what was stolen from you. And I promise you. Not only will you retain what was stolen, but you will reclaim what you could not imagine you would have ever received. Meaning there is a mantle in the atmosphere that has your name on it. And it's time for you to get it back. Take it. It's time to get it back. 
The word territory is defined as an area of land under the jurisdiction of a ruler or a state. An area of land which is under jurisdiction of a particular area, a particular person. And God says, I want you to know that everything you touch in this season shall be blessed beyond measure. Yes, yes sir. And it's time for you to reclaim that. I feel the I, I feel this in just give it 10 minutes, and then you will come to the full understanding that you are greater than what you could even imagine. Let me give you a, a very quick uh, 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 demonstration of the spirit realm. Watch this. Take a neighbor and say, neighbor, the spirit of God is greater than a God you know. And God said, the steps of a good man. Okay, do I have any Bible readers in the building this Sunday morning? The steps of a good man are what? Are what? Come on. 
is not the season. Ooh, shut up, this is not the season. Oh, we about to have a church over here. This is not the season to entertain demons. I know your I know your I know the church will talk about spiritual warfare, but let me be the first one to tell you, demons come to church along with you. And if you don't be so ever careful, that same Python spirit that was with you on Monday will travel out of church on Sunday. And that's why it's imperative that the Bible says that every thing that has breath praise. That's not up for suggestion. That is a command that everything that has breath praise you. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. So then he says, he says, watch this. There is a prince to come. Watch this turn to my theologians. There's a prince to come. Give me like, I guess you can have a little bit of fun here. I keep you on having to much milk today. Uh, because I need you to understand that in this season there is a prince that's in charge of the principalities. Okay, I say how to deal with you. Principalities mean that there are more than one. Okay, there is a chief prince of all principalities. There is a kingdom over the chief prince live, but the principalities do what the chief prince say. And so if you don't be so careful, when you pray, you interrupt the construction of the principalities. I must be a Catholic church. Are you hearing what I'm saying to them? So he says, I need you to mark your territory first with a praise. Okay, in other words, when doors close, it doesn't close because you're not authorized. It's closed because one, it might not be the time for you to experience that door. Two, it may not be loud enough coming out your mouth that you declare that to be yours. Or three, it's not your season. But God says, in this season, if you open your mouth up, if you open your praise up, if you open your worship up, then the principalities cannot have dominion over your entities. Principalities, powers, demonic forces. Uh -huh. I was talking, it's so funny, we had guests from the Zan. I had a good pastor, a pastor test. I was on him this morning for the Philippines. And in and, and, and 2015, uh, he said they're going over to the Philippines. And I said to him this morning, they were singing a song. And it's on Facebook. And I said, you are interrupting the kingdom of hell. He, he inboxed me and said, what do you mean? I said, keep singing the song more. And the more you sing it, the more it messes up the atmosphere. He said, what do you mean? I said, let me explain to you. Noise travel. Praise travel. If you don't be so careful, your praise will travel to a place where your heart really desires to be. That's why it's important for you not to sit there like a bump on the log. As if God owes you something, but you gotta begin to usher the presence of God and say, God, you don't owe me nothing, but I, I owe you everything. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I owe him everything. Watch this, let me help you. The air that you breathe, you owe him. The clothes on your back, you owe him. The car you drive, you owe him. God ain't saying nothing to me. Everything you got is not because of you. It's because God has blessed you. To have what you have. Uh -huh. uh, just how far your neighbor said, neighbor, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. How far somebody else said, neighbor, leave because that person obviously did it. And tell them, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful I have authority over my enemies. I have authority. I've learned the church. Can I be very transparent? Can I be transparent for a minute? I have learned that coming to church, watch well, this, I had to learn how to be by myself. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because you know, the actual fact is, the fact of the matter is, not everybody come to church and play the praise. Some people, okay, all right, ain't nobody saying. Some people come because they want to be seen. Some people come because they want to be heard. Some people come because they believe that if I come, God supplies my needs. But baby, can I tell you that there's about 15 of us in this room come because we are in warfare. And I'm not talking about a little bit of warfare. I'm talking about some imps that has been born because we have been born. And the devil has created this massacre of an alliance of demonic influence that is trying to attack every person with a Opposition. Okay, it's about to get crazy. The opposition 
of the enemy always come to destroy the call. Jazz, watch this. That means although you are called, but you are not supposed to go without opposition. The more you are called, the more hell you have to overcome. Y'all quiet. Oh, I, 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 can I say it one more time? The higher you are anointing, the more anointing you have, the more demons are coming into it. But he says, I need you to take territory and take over territory. Okay, Baltimore is a territory. There are many churches in the territory, but not everybody know kingdom. Anybody say nothing to me? church but don't have territory. You can have authority in house but do you have territory and authority outside? Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Take it in but you need territory. So watch this. He says, he says God always places the most significant, okay, it's going to help you out here, the most significant and dangerously anointed vessels in the most hostile and dangerous areas. So that his glory could cause change. Yes. He said, I'm going to put the most anointed yes. men and women of God. All right. See, you're looking for an easy way out. It is not because of your calling. Number 10 minutes, we're going to do that and exercise your anointing by purging the air. If the air is not purged, right, my friend? If it is not purged, then there will be no deliverance. That's the word right there. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Right I hope they get this because, Buster, if it's not purged, see, they purge as musicians. But there is a sound that goes beyond music that must fix in with what they say. That's why y'all can't get it. Because the purging of the glory of God when enters a house, no one could stand. The Bible says, the Bible says that when the Levites came together, when they came together, the power of God hit so much that the priests could not even stand to minister. Watch this. The 
is based upon your failure to enhance your brain. Come on now. All right. Come on now. That's why your response this morning is so limited because your life is. Praise has destroyed the light that's on your life. Because you only preach when everything goes good. He said, you can mock the territory if you're praising in the valley. Says your greatest breakthrough and praise came when you was in the valley of the giants. It was not on the top. It was when everything was good. I'm talking about praising God when you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. I'm talking about praising God when you so confused in your body. I'm talking about praising when you know you got a headache. I'm talking about praising when you know your body is not cooperating with your spirit. I'm talking about praising when you so messed up in your home. So messed up, and your family is so messed up, and your friends is so messed up, and you're still praising, and you're saying, God, here I am. Yes, sir. Yes. I may be broken, I may be weak, I may be weary, but I'm still standing on the promises of Christ my Savior. Do I have a witness somewhere in this room? If you're still standing, I pray to give God a praise for still standing. Why did he say that? Okay, this is for my class. Why did he? 
he says he said this because according to scripture in Ephesians the Bible says that he has the power of the air so what God says but I threw him on the ground the Bible says that he behold I see the great angel upon this fall from the heavens like lightning onto the ground that means that not only did he saturate his demonic presence in the air but he also consumed the ground so when he looked at Christ he told Christ listen I will give you all of this which is on the ground but he never promised him the air he says because I now control the ground because this is where your father put me at Jesus turned and looked at him and said watch this in other words layman terms get thee behind me I bind you do not take the Lord your God okay which I just got after four years of studying this I finally understand why we are under so much attack let me hurry time is running out he says Jesus looks back and says to his disciples in one conversation now greater works yes sir greater come on shall you do watch this as I go back to my father okay so now devil went from he went from being jealous of God to being jealous of Christ to being back jealous to God now jealous of us because now we can do even the more okay I'm missing the whole revelation even the more of what Christ said we could do in other words Christ says just like Elijah watch this oh Elisha did double of what what are you expecting? So will you do because I got to go back. So the enemy is acting whoever got the power. And so he said, watch this. Now I realize tempting and trying to chase after God is no longer an option. I can't chase after Jesus. That's no longer an option. But I can try to destroy the people who have the greatest power, which is you and I. And so God says, I am giving you the territory that I allowed him to rule over. Amen. Satan slithers on the territory. And he says, if I can get them to lose focus. Right. Thank you. 
Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, please help me praise God, please. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, I need you to help me praise. Because there's a demon that's been trying to attack my body. I need you to help me praise. There's a demon trying to attack my mind. I need you to help me praise. There's a spirit trying to attack my torso. I need you to help me praise. There's something attacking my bloodline. There's something trying to attack my children. There's something trying to attack my grandchildren. But let everything that has breath.
For this building, we take a territory. We take a territory. And I declare for every business owner to be and is that a million so will happen in your life that you will start reaping a harvest. I declare that somebody in this place that want to go back to school and don't have the money. I declare it already paid for.
by what you just witnessed, I'm sure your soul has been revived. I'm telling you, it's been a revival around here, saints. It's been a real revival uh, right here at the Metroplex. I want you to come. I want to meet you, shake your hand, love on your love on your family, your children, your husband, your wife, love on all y'all, First Lady and myself, Lady Waters and myself, and the staff here at New Generation Ministries. We care for you. We love you. We thank God for you. And we just want to be a blessing to you. Now, how can you do that? I want you to get in your car, put in your GPS, 3501 Brims Lane. That's 3501 Brims Lane, Baltimore, Maryland, 21213. I want you to get here every Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Right here is extraordinary praise, extraordinary worship, and the Word of God is so rich. I'm telling you, it's rich in, ev in every aspect you can imagine. Every Tuesday night Bible study, Kingdom Building Bible study, every Tuesday at 7 p.m. And of course, every Thursday night, 7 p.m., it is, it is just magnificent. Thursday night fire. Every Thursday night at 7 p.m. I want you to get here. I want you to be a part of this ministry. If you do not have a church home and you're looking for something different, yes, we are a Word of Faith Pentecostal church. What does that mean? That means we're going to educate you on the Word of God. And we're going to teach the Word of God. And we're going to teach you on how to prosper and move in life and be a, a, a God chaser. But at the same time, we're going to chase some demons out of your life. And we're going to speak life into a dead land. So that's what we are. And I want you to be a part of it. Also, for all of my pastors who may be watching this broadcast, I am also the presiding bishop of the New Generation Alliance of Covenant Pastors. We have sons and daughters all over the world doing some great things. And I talk to them daily, uh, even through this season of struggle and uh, disease and like spreading and all of that. We are remaining uh, faithful to the faith. God will supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. And so we want you to be a part of the New Generation Alliance of Covenant Pastors. Maybe you're an evangelist that needs covering, uh, a pastor that's out there. I always say, no pastor left behind. No pastor should be left behind. Don't think or feel as though that you have to do this thing or walk this journey by yourself. We are a great group of men and women of God that love God. And uh, we want to help you. So join us today. New Generation Alliance of Covenant Pastors. Uh, you can go on Facebook. You can inbox us. Uh, we really promote social media. Or you can come past the church. We would love uh, to talk to you about it. Or you can simply write us. Again, write me at 3501 Brims Lane, Baltimore, Maryland, 21213. And uh, you can mail it right to the Metroplex. New Generation Ministries. At the Metroplex. So I want you to be a part of that. Also for those of you who are inquiring about school. Maybe you're saying listen I just want to get more information. More knowledge. More wisdom and all of that. This is the perfect time. Let me introduce you to the Dr. Charles S. Water School of Ministry. Where we are a school of the spirit. And I'm telling you. We've been teaching on spiritual warfare lately, and it has been off the hook. So we want you to be a part of that. We want you to join and be a part of that, and be uh, just just grab a hold of the power of God. So be a part of that, and we'd love to have you here. Now, remember what you say today will determine the future of your tomorrow. I want you to be a part of this. I want you to be a great big part of this, and be uh, just just allow the Lord to speak to you. I'm believing in faith for you. I'm believing that God will supply your needs. I'm believing that God is going to open up doors for you. And nothing is too hard for God. I'm your host, Dr. Waters. It has been my esteemed pleasure. I look forward to seeing you this Sunday coming here at the Metroplex. I'll see you then.